All right, man, behind the scenes. Round two. Yeah. Let's not get sidetracked and attempt to build a boomer rack this time. All right, no fancy uh, can crushers or? No, we're not working on your welding table. We're putting your welding table <laughs> to use. Now that I got the windows nice and clean so you guys can see outside, we got another uh, we got another ice storm on the way. Yeah. We pulled the old uh, DL550 in here. Somebody got mad at me the other day because I called it the old DL550. It's just that habit. The new <laughs> DL550 <laughs> in the shop. Figured we'd try to keep it out of the uh, weather a little bit. But uh, do you remember your measurements? No. <laughs> Good thing we recorded the first yeah. half of the last video yeah. and we got all that. Went back and watched it. If I remember right, and I watched the video right, we need to be one foot out, two foot, two up. foot up. I remember that. Now, how are you gonna figure out all that geometry? Just gonna start sticking things together. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> if, if I was doing it, you know what I'd do? I'd look at it, I'd guess my angle, I'd go ahead and cut one and put it on there, and it'd be dead on. What is this? No, no, it would not be. <laughs> All right, I got an idea. I don't know if it's gonna work, but it's gonna be a little bit complicated. I don't think we need this no, tool. We need that, do we? So we need this, and we need this, and we need this. Do we need both of them? Yeah, we're gonna need both of them. For what? I'm gonna need both hands, so I'm gonna put my camera down. All right, watch the, watch the learn, boy. Here we go, you ready? Yeah. All right, so we're coming one foot out, right? Yep, that's one foot out. One foot out, one foot out. And we're going two and foot two up. Two foot up, so this right is, there. This is two foot up, right? What? Yeah, yeah, that's two foot up. All right, so then go from here to there with that square. Are you for sure? Yes, I'm for sure. Positive. No, come out a little bit, right there. Are you for sure? I'm for sure. I can't see, why go on that side? Man, right. you're messing me off. All right, you hold here, on. Let me, you, you hold it, let me get my hands repositioned. No, I won't get my hands repositioned. Oh my hold this me. just for a second. I want to hold it down here. I got a better grip on it. Got it? Okay, I got it. All right, I'm going to double check your 12 inches here. Okay. Come towards me just a little bit. Right there. All right, so now we should be able to do this. Now try it. I got it right. I'm shooting straight to the two foot right there. That is 40 degrees. 40 degrees. Come check here on something else. It's too many. Yes. 40 degrees. And then we need a length. 40, 40 by 27. That's my guess. 40 by 27. All right, man, behind the scenes, we did some recalculations. Yes, we did. And uh, we actually need 55 degrees, but then we need to minus that from 90, and we need the remainder, which is 35 degrees, which is what the saw is set at. And if all that's wrong, I'm gonna delete this video clip, and we're gonna pretend like it never happened. <laughs> all right, let's let the saw do its thing, and then we'll find out where we're at. You had one goal at the beginning of this video. Yeah. Not get sidetracked on the boomer rack. Yeah, yeah. That's what are you? Exactly. Oh, but then we had to put feet on a dryer that somebody forgot to put on. Then we had to cut some shelves to go above the washer. You ready? We'll go ahead and put this one in too. Hey. No. That would what, what, happened, what, happened, what happened there? <laughs> what, uh, what, what? You gave me the wrong measurement, <laughs> no, I and I was ready to cut. <laughs> just, just, just job security? <laughs> uh, no, this is for a custom fit. <laughs> uh, cord on the wall side. <laughs> this makes a big deal. Hey, spot weld that back together, nobody ever know. <laughs> Except for the 100,000 people who are gonna watch this video. <laughs> All right, let's finish up Mrs. Derp. Hello, how are you? Hey, and I would've never known it had you not said it. Oh, good uh, job. <laughs> And she don't watch my videos. I don't watch the videos and I don't look that But close. Jenna, I pro we will fix it. If he gave me the right measurement the first time, this wouldn't happen. 
And I told him I got broad shoulders, I'll take the blame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Back to our regularly uh, scheduled program here, Carly. Sure, Inch. What are you doing? Once I drill a hole in the wall for that bolt. Huh? What? What's that got to do with the truck? Huh? What's that got to do with the truck? Was... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who's got the camera now, huh? <laughs> you want to mouth me about my shells? <laughs> Aren't we supposed to be working on that low boy trailer? <laughs> Side tweak to the camera. Yeah, right. yeah. Perfect. So whose fault is it now? <laughs> All right, man. Behind the scenes, uh, we are back. We are back. I'm getting to think this project's like cursed or something. Yeah. <laughs> shells are hung. Can crush is adjusted. Now, the next question is, do we have the right angle? It looks close. Close enough, I'm tacking. No, no, you hold up there on your tacking. Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna run this, what do you think, on the inside here? Oh, what do you think? Yeah, it'll just need to make time. Go on this side. Go on this side? You have to reach over the tack though, ain't you? I was just gonna go the easy route. Now, I gave you a tape measure. Oh, I took it inside to our project. <laughs> what do you guys think? I ball it down through there. Man, you go off the frame rail, you go off the frame rail, it tops about a quarter inch out. Quarter inch out? Then you go that way. Let me move this. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. What do you think? Oh. Man, I don't know. You want, you want to tack this side off and then we'll do some measurement and just, just kind of tweak the them the same? Yeah. yeah. Because we got our bottom, we got our right, bottom. Right. Put the bottom in the same spot here. If we measure across the bottom, we just need to put the top where it's at and see. Then you can eyeball which one needs to go out or in. Um, I, it's going to pain me, but I agree with you. I forgot my glasses. <laughs> All right, it's the other side. See how easy things go when you just listen to me? No, I mean, I was right on. I was agreeing with everything because that's how I would have done it. <laughs> Weld it out. Yeah, actually, that's what I'd have done. I'd just weld it out. Did your shells fall down? No. Every time I come out here, I speak to you. <laughs> Dang camera. <laughs> All right, got those welded off, looks good. Here's what's next on the list, is I think we need to put a brace from here to there. We talked about using some small angle, but I feel like it needs a pretty, pretty substantial brace just in case Captain Kleeman drives and backs in and whams something That's right That's not what we agreed on earlier. <laughs> we agreed it was you. You're the one we gotta worry about. So we're gonna go with the uh, inch and a half tube. Now, we could get all fancy and find some fang dangled angles again, but uh, I say you just hold it up here and we scribe it. So. <laughs> Ow. so basically, you, you, I need to hold this, hold this flush right there. You go back a little bit. Yeah, how far back? So you need the back edge just barely touching right there. Hold on. Top corner barely touching, back edge barely touching. You wanna go back that far? Yeah, go up. All right. So I cut it for. Keep going. Keep going. There we go. So right like that. All right. So you got you got this end. You got that end. Yep. Got this end. Yeah. <laughs> you sure. Your thumb loose? Uh, no. Maybe I got flat tire, <laughs> flat finger. Oh, I know what it is. I oh. forgot. I know exactly what it is. What's that? I think we're gonna have to cut well, that with wafer gum. My finger, it's kind of numb on the end. No, the other one. I have no feeling in it. 
I don't even I don't even want to know. That one right there, the one you oh, smashed. Oh, the one you know, I did. You smashed that on the Can Crusher project. No, you smashed that. You tried your, to get the nut off the grinder you put on. Doing your project. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take a wafer, cut those, and we'll see how she fits. Uh, excuse me, sir. Let's go ahead and raise that table up. It'll be fine, he said. What are you standing on? Step stool. Just do this one cut. That's a transmission jack, not an Aaron jack. <laughs> <laughs> it is nice it's kind of seeing you. Purpose. It is kind of nice looking because at you eye to eye. Nobody ever sees you video from this angle. I know angle. it, I know it. Uh, uh, this was used on another project that wasn't a transmission either just the other day. Fuel tank jack? Hmm, yeah. All right, make it happen, Captain. This is how he catches his sweatshirt on fire. You ready to see how well your traced angles fit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of hard to screw this up, isn't it? It is. Oh, look at that. Yeah. I was going to say if it is screwed up, it's because uh, you can't follow a line. That's I'm good right there. Line on one side. Look at that. Would you just look at it? Yeah. So I like that. Do you yeah. like it up there? I think as so. The only thing you want to check you want is. To measure? Well, weren't we just using the thickness of that level? Yeah, we can do that too. As far as your offset? Yeah. Coming through. Meet me. Yeah, you're right there. Good enough? Yep. Yeah, I like All right. it. All right. I'm going to tack it back here and back. Eyeball. Yep. I don't know if that's going to be cleaning proof, but it should give him a run for his money. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is good. Yep. Eyeballs. I don't even look that bad. No, no. It don't look bad at all. Do we need to make sure it's not going to interfere with our boomer? things before we get too carried away? I don't think it should it because, because they're sliding in, right? Yeah, they're going to be flat. Where's the... Oh, they're yeah, over here. here. Yeah. 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 So basically, these are going to go on here like this, right? Yep. So that don't interfere. Yeah, that ain't going to interfere. Yeah. I think we're good. No. I like it. It kind of looks like a medieval spear right yeah, now. It does. <laughs> like I dare you to rear in me. <laughs> I think it's going to serve its purpose in life though. Oh yeah. All right. I got the second one cut for you. Of course I cut this one so the angles are even better. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that. I don't, I don't like it. I mean you had two cuts to make. I had like one, two, three, four, five, eight welds to make. Hmm? If it's so good that I finish them welds out before you're finished cutting. No. I just yes. hit record until you were done. Oh, no. <laughs> That's why you need to keep the camera rolling. No. I don't know if I got enough batteries and SD cards for that. <laughs> All right. Let's do our spacer. Right. This is highly, highly accurate. And then I'll make sure this top side stays where it needs to be. Tag her off. Look at that angle. Would you just look at it? Oh, yeah. Eyeball. Like it? Yep, let her rip. Like it a lot. You ready for the next piece of the puzzle? I'm ready for it. So this is what I'm thinking. This is gonna be our quarter inch by four flat bar. I'm thinking if we uh, line that corner up, like right there, then we'll kind of roll that angle down a little bit to uh, help ourselves yeah. out. What do you think? Yep. I like it. Tag her up here? Yep. Yeah, I think I like it. That'll work. Uh, so what that is for, that's where we'll hang all of our short chains from to keep them from laying down there in that uh, thing. I like it a lot. 
right. Looks good. <laughs> good morning, man, behind the scenes. Good morning. What are you trying to do? Play Jenga over here? Yes, yeah, something like that. This looks like a horrible game yeah. of pickup metal. It's not pickup yeah. sticks. Yeah. I did not wear the right shoes for this game this morning. I always got my right <laughs> shoes on. All right, so what we're trying to figure out, why do you have a spring compressor out? This is not a C-clamp. Yes, I know, and it wasn't a load on it, just trying to lightly put them up with the littlest clamps I could that's find. Like a, that's like a spring compressor for a five-horse Briggs and Stratton or something. So. We're, we're running out of small ones, so. <laughs> All right, so what we would like to do is get five up through there, right? Mm -hmm. We gotta keep them as tight as we can. We gotta keep a little bit of an angle. Of course, as this neck comes up, it's gonna increase our angle. Increase the angle. So do you think your C-clamp's gonna hold? Uh, did we drop one down here? Yeah, this one tackled the welder wall. Okay. Yeah. So that'll go in there like so, right? Just go easy, yeah. So then, here, I'll let you take the camera. And then uh, we may have to angle that one up a little bit that you're putting it in. See, so we're hitting a clamp, but. I guess it doesn't matter which way they go. I think they're pretty much symmetrical either way, ain't they? Yeah. Uh, we'll want to go the other way. We got that clamp holding you up in the back right now. Okay. Well, do you think we need to maybe tack one on? Then just keep tacking them up and make sure they yeah. stack. Yeah, so we just gotta make sure we keep our angles right. Like this right. one here, I think is right where it needs to be. This one here, we need to kick well, the front up a little the, bit. The old angle measurer out, and we'll tack and, uh, that first one on. Yep. And then we'll just keep doing it the same one. I up. think so, yep. All right. I think that is going to work pretty good, Aaron. Even all the way down, we still got like a 12% positive slide rate on that boomer. Yeah. And by the time this thing raises up, we're going to be at a 35 to 40% on them. And they look, uh, they look good up through there. Everything's nice and symmetrical. I like it. And if those speed binders will fit in there, them other ones are going to fit in there fine. Uh, I don't think we showed them uh, after we got this on there. So this is where all of our chains will hook. Uh, long chains should go on down and hang in the crate down here. Short chains will loop back and forth. We don't know for sure if we're going to put a bar across the top of them. I think I put bars across the tops of the ones I built in the past, but I don't know if they were necessary. I think we may just kind of run with it and see what happens. But uh, we're going to get the ones tacked off on this side. Let Aaron get those welded out and continue on. Well, man, behind the scenes, I am really, really liking the way this is looking. Our chains, man, look at that. Our chains hang right down here in the basket. Absolutely perfect. Short chains hang up here. We got room for 10 boomer storage. Got room for all kinds of chains. This seems to be plenty stout. Yeah. There's one, one more thing I'd like to be able to store on this. You know what it is? What do you want now? It'd be nice if we had a place to put our flags. Oh, I was gonna, I thought maybe you want to put a can crusher back here. <laughs> no, we're not putting a can crusher back here. All right, follow me. I've, uh, I've been piddling while you've been welding, and I come up with this. We got this piece of pipe, right? And if we take this little thing and weld in here as a stop, I think those flags will roll up. You got a flag? Yeah. Oh, I, I think those flag flags will roll up, go down in there, and then we'll have a place for them where they're stored out of the way. Oh man, that's bad news. We gotta dispose of those properly. That's, that's horrible. I forgot those were in there. All right, we gotta do the right thing with those. Yep. Get this nice and tight. So that'll slide down in there. Then we'll have the thing on the end. It'll stop the flag. It'll stop it. Going through. Now where are you gonna put it? 
Oh. How many flags do you got that we Four. want? Four. So we want, we need two spots on each side. Yeah. You think we'd be better? What do you think about just doing it like yeah. right here? Yeah, we could do, we could do it. Let's get let's go over here where we got the boomers in. So that kind of gives you an idea of where it would look the best. I'm kind of liking that. And honestly, we could put it down farther even. Yeah, you could do that. You don't have any interference problems with your- I don't think so. All the cylinders and stuff, we got plenty of room there. Okay. And we'll have a big enough hole for everything to fall out the bottom. I think that would look better than anywhere else here, don't yeah, you? Yeah, the only thing yeah, I was I was thinking if you did that was- Well, I can't do that because we want to leave the bottom open so it don't get dirt and mud well, in Well, that's true. So yeah, you don't want to do that. That's right. All right, that's yeah. right. Yo, oh, you're using that, huh? No, using Ain't just a hat rack. <laughs> <laughs> so. I've been on the phone with engineers all morning, buddy. Yeah. I'm an engineer in mode. See, right. I think that looks tic tac -y. Okay. All right. That right. looks professional. It looks nice down here, as long as the cylinders. Just gotta watch them cylinders. Well, do you want them? Is it worth firing the truck up and cycle them? But they don't come up very far. I think Which it, I mean, you could keep them up too. Yeah, you know, I'm not against that. All it's, it's, easy. It's, flag, so you're not, it ain't gonna it's easier to see if they're up a little bit like that. Yeah. So if we did that. Here's my problem. How high up will it be when it's up in driving position? What? <laughs> you can you can grab it down here, genius, and pull it out. Oh, I guess I could. <laughs> Short man problems. Let's mock a few up, tack them in there, and see what they look like. Yep. All right. Looks like we got a couple cannons on there, but other than that, I think it'll work pretty good. <laughs> All right, we got two more by the other side. We'll be in good shape. I think that is going to work mighty fine, my friend. Got all the burrs out of the top. Will they slide out in there? Yep. That'll keep them, keep them stored and tucked away. Well, we're on a roll. I think we should do yep. one more thing. Check this out. I cut us another piece of pipe. Hopefully we weld it up here. That way we'll get us a broom holder. Yeah, I like that. And uh, what I like about the room is it's too high for me to reach, so I'm gonna have to use it. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> Let's get that on there. We'll get this painted, and then we got a few ideas to do on the actual trailer itself. Yes. How about me and my can crusher? You keep adding stuff too. <laughs> no, we had, no, we had no. a second pipe up there to, help, to handle your shovel. I yes. think you like having yes. tools up there because you can't reach them. I like it too, because if I can't reach them, I can't use them. So now we're going to add another bracket down here. Now I don't like the <laughs> shovel down here. So are we going to show them how it works or are we just going to weld it on and hope it works? What you do with the shovel? I don't know. All right. Well, then that means we're going to weld it on and see how it works. I'm a, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tack it on. There we go. Hey, and, don't forget uh, to turn your gas on this time. Oh. I think I got it off. <coughs> All right, you're squared up. Tack that off. Eyeballs. Yep. Okay. Now, one more tack. Eyeballs. And this, this, whoa, watch the grinder. You did that. This needs to get tacked right there. Okay, you ready? Yep. Eyeballs. Yep. All right, now we need to find your shovel. What do you do with your shovel? Where did your shovel go? Oh, here it is. This is probably the best shovel to be using for an example. It's had a little bit of a rough life. But in theory, this should go down in here like that. I think it'll ride perfect. Yeah, that's the one shovel I didn't want to reach. Yeah. I mean, I think if we have a problem with it bouncing out, we can obviously put a keeper on it. The other option yeah. is, I think if we put it in that way, that ain't going nowhere. I like it. Thing there. 
I like it. All right, and weld it off, and let's. I think I've said the last four clips. Let's paint it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's add something else on. <laughs> all right. It's all yours, buddy. All right. No runs, sir. No runs. Make her look pretty. Just like me. Man, I'm. Not no way. I'm pretty pleased. I think. I guess it's gonna work a little bit better than expected. So, while Aaron is painting that out, we're gonna run up on top of the hill to the rest of the low boy trailer and measure out that hole in the floor. But I want to build a grate that'll go down in there and kind of uh, work as a chain divider, give us a little extra storage if we need it. So, set the top of it. So here's kind of what I'm thinking, guys. We got this hole right here. It goes all the way through the trailer floor. I'm not for sure why it's there. The previous owner may have used to hold a piece of equipment or something that required it. We're gonna use it as a chain well. So basically we're gonna cut a piece of grating that'll fit that in there. It's 24 by 36. And then whenever we do that, we're gonna put dividers in it so we can take some of our longer chains and they'll each stay in their each individual pocket, which will hopefully keep from, um, Hopefully keep us from uh, like getting them all intertwined and stuff with each other. I think it'll work uh, pretty good. So once we get done down the shop, we'll probably pull this in. We're going to replace a couple boards and then we'll uh, install that uh, grating down in there. But let's go back down, get some pieces cut. 24 by 36. You guys remember that. I brought paper up to write it down, but uh, I think we can remember 24 by 36. All right, man, behind the scenes. All right. Ground breaking ideas here. Yep, We're gonna and pin. I'm going into this blind because I did not go up and look at this. And I, <laughs> and I have not been really? on the phone for the last hour. Yeah. I promise. I haven't so been on the phone. I hope your measurements didn't get mixed up with some <laughs> other numbers that you've been talking, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Them other numbers had a lot more thousands, a lot more zeros on them. Yes. All right, so... 24 by 36, you got our piece cut. I got it cut. Um, I think we're gonna have to build some sort of cradle to hold it, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I think the next thing we need to do is outline it with flat stock, which is what we have here. Yes. So we cut two of those 24 and two of those 36, we should have a rectangle, right? Now I know how I do it, I know how you're doing it, probably, uh, because you do it always opposite of what I'm gonna do it. But I would have left to where I could have ran that plate Plus with the bottom of this and ran around it. You can. I got enough room for that. You do? Yes. Okay. Yes. Good deal. Yep. Good deal. I got a little more places for well. Nice try. Yeah, well, yeah, no. Uh, see, I've already thought about that. If we can run that around the outside edge, then we can clip the corners in the middle piece. Yeah. Yep. And then if we want to, we can even put a little lift right there in the middle. That's right. So I'm, I'm glad we're on the same page. Oh, it's right. been a while, but we're back all on right. that let's, same uh, page. Let's cut some pieces. All right, cut. Did it work? No. All right, go ahead, start cutting. Try again. <laughs> no, nothing. All right, you guys got to use that. Yeah. <laughs> got all your pieces cut. Hey, I'm just glad to see you're putting your fancy little table extension to use here. I like it. So. We're gonna basically go around here, build our perimeter, and then we'll figure out how we wanna do our dividers. Let's do it. All right, got the perimeter welded up. Yep. It looks pretty good. I got your first divider cut. Look at that. Look at that. Would you just yeah. look at it? Okay, right. Go right there. Right, right, right. Okay. Tiger. Like it? Yep. Live off. So what we're thinking is the one down the middle we got two go this way. I should give us six compartments, right? Man, between all the chains we can hang on the rack, six chains in here, we should be covered. Oh yeah. We should yeah. be covered. All right, let Aaron weld that out. I'm gonna get the last few dividers cut. We'll have it. 
All right, on to our other dividers. We had to stop for a little welder maintenance because somebody ran the welder out of wire and then they shorted Let, the welder let's out. Just say, I am gonna say you jinxed us because just the other day, we were up there at Clint's and you were talking about how I caught the shop on fire, ha, ha, <laughs> ha, ha. And then you go and catch the welder on fire. Well, that's, yeah, it, uh, I don't know if it was, yeah, yeah, let's yeah. just say the welder was welding itself. <laughs> All right, so. Yeah, let, I don't do a light tack on this. I don't know how the other side's gonna work out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hope I caught that. <laughs> oh. It works better if you actually got your head on. Yeah. All right, light tack. Yep. Yep. That is some bright wire. This right. Okay, so then this one here, this should shove that over. I'm about to put you yeah. guys down. We got it. Well, it's gonna be close, ain't it? Yeah. Uh, where's this? Yeah, cut that over. It'll, it'll go, it's just a little. Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I don't know if you, did you guys see any of that? That is money, baby. That is money. You like it top bottom? Ha ha ha! Yeah, you gotta remember, I cut them. After I barked them. <laughs> you made one out of six cuts. Two! Weld it! Two, three, four! Weld it! Wait, Look at wait, that, wait. man. That's a thing of beauty right there. Man behind the scenes, how many people do you think have already commented that's not gonna work, your chains are gonna go straight through there? Probably quite a few. Well, guess what? We gotta put the finishing touches in yet. Yes. Look at that. Now that is gonna work good. Look at that. Yes. I don't now, think if a chain can go through that, I don't think it belongs on a level. <laughs> no. The question is, do we tack those in so the chains don't pull them out? Or do we just let them lay in there so we can clean it out? Yeah, I'd like to just let them lay in there. I'm afraid the chains are gonna catch on them and pull them up though. Right? Yeah. Alright. On second thought. I think we're gonna leave these loose. It sure would be nice to be able to pull those out to clean this out because it's inevitably gonna get stuff down in there. We've been playing around with these chains a little bit. They don't seem to be catching on anything. No. I, uh, I like it, man. Our pockets are the perfect size too. Yeah. I like it a lot. six long chains. Well, six long chains here and then we could probably hang another five or six up yeah. there and not count our short chains, yeah. so. And we could even throw two or three short chains in each pocket. They wouldn't get knotted up. No. Uh, if we wanted to. I like it. You know what the next step is, don't you? Install. We got to get her installed on a low boy. Yeah. That's going to be another day. Same video, just different days. So yeah. stay tuned. Good morning, fine sir. Good morning. I don't, uh, in, in the video world, this is like the next clip. Yeah. In like real life world, uh, this is like, what, 5,000 miles and four trips later. <laughs> And yeah. five days later, yeah, we've been like, I think we've been to every corner of Indiana and part of Ohio and Kentucky this I week. I think we have, yes. It's been, uh, it's been an adventurous week, but. So, I hope you got all your traveling out of your way. Th this seems to be the project that just keeps dragging on and won't, yeah. won't let us go. But anyways, I think, I think the last clip we filmed was completing our chain tray, which turned out absolutely awesome. Yes, hey, we look what we're using. Our new little kick out. I think we pointed that out in previous clips. I know, but we're used to it. Yeah, we found a flaw in your design this morning, though. We did. I told you you get locking wheels. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I went to drill this hole so we could put a shackle in this to raise it in and out. The trailer or the table about took off and poked a hole in the hot water heater over there. Yeah, we got under control. Though. But, anyways, we did get a hole drilled in that so we can, uh, even out on the field, if this thing gets filled up with dirt or something happens, should be able to pluck it out of there with an excavator or something like that. So, that. Hopefully, we'll fit down in this hole. We got, uh, well, we got we got most of the trailer in the shop this morning. Yeah, yeah. And we got the part we need to, 
Look at that though, all painted up, looking good. Oh yeah, things look good. Got a shovel on there, that's all right, sidetrack. So, the plan is Aaron's got two pieces of uh, tubing cut. We're gonna weld those across there. Hopefully that tray goes down and in there. While he's doing that and the trailer's in the shop, I'm gonna try to get a couple boards cut and we're gonna patch this, uh, patch this hole we got going on, on the floor here. Try to get that all fixed up. And I guess we're gonna turn trailer around and do a little yep. work on the other end. So, all right, yep. hopefully this is not eventful. We're gonna put you guys up on uh, time lapse and uh, let you watch. behind the scenes looks good got the hole patched over there got that all painted up i'm glad my measurements worked out everything uh -huh. fit everything uh -huh. fit just the way it's supposed to time lapse i'll see a little cutting going on <laughs> i got i got the power yeah. of editing you do <laughs> all but right you ain't gonna edit this part set her in there i remember when we were bringing this down here i said are you for sure it's gonna fit in that hole that like hole looks a, awfully little like a glove <laughs> all right Yep. Don't scratch my paint. Go on down. Check that out. Oh yeah. Don't have to worry about falling nice. through the big hole in the floor no more. Got nice neat storage. We can pull yep. it out of there easy. If it gets a bunch of mud in it one day, we gotta clean it. Hell I don't tray go. That turned out pretty sharp. So now I guess what we need to do now is back this truck out and uh spin it around and bring it back in. How easy do you think that's gonna be? Oh. Let's just uh let's just let's just do it the easy way. Man behind the scenes, since we don't have a bigger shelf than what we have, you're lucky you got a good truck driver. A good truck driver and a beautiful day. <laughs> we should have videoed. Uh, yeah. We did not move a single thing. You gotta be my, you gotta be my yes. valves here. Yeah. We didn't move a single thing out there in my cramped driveway. We still managed to turn this thing around. <laughs> back at one point, I thought the trailer was gonna go, the Love Boy trailer was going over the hill. I wasn't worried about it, it's still hooked to the truck. <laughs> <laughs> the truck was still on top of the hill. So even even Deke was amazed. It takes a lot to amaze Deke. Yeah, yeah. All right, so now we got turned around. We got one hole here in the floor we're gonna patch. I think we're gonna take and weld these things off solid. These two compartments right here are pretty much a pain in the butt. Yeah. There's always a blade, there's always a bucket, the front of Bubba dump, something's always over on top of them. They're not convenient to get in and out of. We're just gonna weld them up be done with them and then we're going to add one piece of c channel 
right here because we put the 210 on here that's where that knuckle sits we need something solid for that knuckle to sit down on and patch the hole in the floor yes then we're done we're done as long as we don't get sidetracked in the next hour we are out of here so all right yes let's do it i don't know what we're doing first we're gonna do something all right after looking at this i got some thoughts you want to hear my thoughts yeah first off we decided we need to go ahead and cut the floors out of these compartments so we didn't trap a whole bunch of stuff in there and it was pretty good material we didn't want to waste yeah but after looking at this this thing is actually set up that lip right there there's a lid up, lip up there on top that's actually set up for wood to sit in there yep <coughs> but, <coughs> don't, don't worry yeah. i'm all right but what i'm thinking is why don't we just cut all this stuff out and leave it off, leave it open. That way we can get in there to pressure wash it, clean it, keep an eye on the frame, make sure we don't got any issues going on. And if it ends up being an issue, we need it closed up, then we'll uh, we'll put wood in there instead of metal. Yep. What do you think? Hey, I love it. Five minutes, I'm gonna be done with my part. I don't know about your part. Well, I've been helping you, so I haven't even oh, started. I'll help I'm you up. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, uh, we just need to finish cutting those doors, and then we'll have that for material too. Yeah, we're getting all kinds of material. Yeah, adding weight on that end, taking weight off yeah. on this end. <laughs> all right, I like it. Let's right. finish getting that stripped down, and then we'll still put our piece of uh, channel in there. Yeah. Uh, for our knuckle boom thingy to sit on. Oh, yeah, we got to do that. I forgot about that. But then we'll be good to go. All right, good conversation. So this is what we've been brainstorming and thinking here. We got this all opened up. We're still debating whether we want to put grading in there, put wood in there or leave it open i don't know that's gonna be a to be determined we got all that old stuff tore out cleaned up looks good but one thing we do want to know we want to do for sure so we want something super solid super solid right here because this is where the boom of the one 120 <laughs> you, got my, you got my numbers out of order uh, 210 sits uh we contemplated a few different things but i got this piece of uh c channel yeah carved up i think we're gonna set it and leave a lip right here so if we put grading or whatever we do, we got something there. Cause that's actually the cross member. This piece is added behind it. This thing's got a heck of a brace in it right here. So we welded it off to this. I should really stiffen up that center. Yep. Uh, now it'll give us a good little pad. Yeah. I think from there we just, we run with it and kind of see how, what we need. Yep. If we feel like this is a safety issue or, a, or an issue, we'll put it in. Uh, we'll put it in. If not, we'll, we'll let it fly cause we didn't, I guess we occasionally maybe walked over those chain boxes, but I know we didn't drive equipment over. No. Uh, so that's to be determined. All right, let's get this thing tacked in here and get this project done. That's gonna work good. That's gonna be a nice, solid pad. Are you welding two things together or just welding the bead for the heck of it? Ah, uh, kinda like the other day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think I showed that on camera. That's good. He was welding something on low boy trailer up there. And uh, he just decided to take off to the left. <laughs> <laughs> Can't see no more. <laughs> I think you got, it. you got it attached to something. Yeah. All right. So it ain't moving. Well, her out. All right. Well, her out. Let's call this done. No worry, man. Behind the scenes, I'll make it look pretty for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You gonna fill that gap with that paint? No, I put that in there on purpose so it'd bleed out. <laughs> That's what I would say too. <laughs> you don't let it run out the sides around it. No, no. It needs to come out right here where that gap sets. Oh, yeah. See, and you did just as I suspected you would. You stitch welded it, so now there's, if yeah. the water gets up in there, we can't have Kubota engineering on this thing. Yeah, you know, that I just, I just wouldn't be good. We don't want that, do we? No, we don't, sir. My plan worked perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not changing my story. Not black, it likes to run, okay? I want to see no runs. Oh yeah, I found a few up there. <laughs> You didn't think I was going to see those either, did you? <laughs> Busted. Uh, I just put a couple in there to see if you wouldn't notice. Oh, I found them. At least two. Well, I think that's officially going to be a wrap on this project. 
We got all this organized, looks awesome. We got our chains organized, looks awesome. We got all our holes in the floor fixed. Created a few more holes in the floor. <laughs> Still not sure what we're gonna do with that. Got us a place for our knuckle to go down. We gotta return those straps to the tree guy. We borrowed those a while back. Gonna put that in storage. I got that, what do you think? I'll pull it out. Move on to the next project. Pull it out, move on to the next one. Everybody's gonna want to know if it's gonna be project. <laughs> Everybody wants project. to know if it's gonna be Lieutenant Dan. Oh, <laughs> uh, nope. We still got a few straggling loose ends all over the duck. So stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did give it a big old thumbs up. Want to make sure you don't miss out on what's coming up next. If you haven't, then you need to subscribe. Tell them. Yep. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. You're getting there. You're getting there. <laughs> getting there, you know. All right. Later, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.